need, it would probably be about two weeks and a half um, for us to vaccinate all of the educators again, if we are anticipating it, 80% of them will show interest in the vaccine. That's using 7,500 weekly doses the Guilford County Health Department already receives and an additional 1,100 coming in from the state health department. This boost was already planned. It was not a response to teachers being added to the eligibility list. So we feel very comfortable and very confident that uh, we will get very close to vaccinating a very, very big number of educators. Dr. Yulia Van shared the priority for educators during the Guilford County Commissioners meeting Thursday night. It's a list Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras and her team created. I will go in in the first group on Thursday night just to show the staff um, that I'm not afraid to take this and that it's a good thing for us to receive the uh, vaccination. Here's how educators will sign up. The GCS school system will have links staff can use to set up appointments for six days starting Thursday. This will also validate their eligibility. We do not require any type of ID at our sites. The goal is to reduce barriers for individuals to get um, a vaccine. Shannon Myers is a Dudley High School teacher with pre-existing health conditions. I'm worried about going back without the vaccine. Um, I don't I feel uncomfortable in the building, even without students in there. She's excited her shot is coming soon. Jamestown Middle School teacher Riley Driver will have to wait a bit. I'm 32. <laughs> That's totally fine. Um, so I'll be I'll be in the in one of the last group. Once all of the staff working with exceptional students gets protected, people 51 to 61 years old will line up next, then 36 to 50 year olds, and finally 18 to 35 year olds. It is a relief to know that it's coming. Um, and I'm really proud of the work that it's taken to, to make sure that that happens for our folks. GCS teachers tell us they are thrilled to see a real vaccination schedule rolled out. Yeah, I hope that we get this done as quickly as we can. You know, this has been, this whole experience has been really difficult. Vaccines are certainly something that's going to make me feel a lot better.